Hello all, welcome to the channel. Today I bring you a run-through of Black Friday. We've got the designer at the top here and it's brought to us by these guys at the bottom. Now this is a two to five player game. It says it takes 55 minutes, which is a very odd playing time, but I think you're looking between 60 to 90 minutes tops really on this one. And this is just touching in that medium complexity. Now we are heading to the stock markets. We've got a various industries at the top and just above them is some stops which are just out of camera view and we are trying to make the most money throughout the game but you are having to invest that in the silver market and you'll be turning that silver into gold and it's whoever has the most gold currency at the end who is the winner and then it's a tie whoever has silver and then it comes down to money if you do have a tie on the gold then the silver over and see who has the most money left so you will also have support in the form of government subsidies here which you do not have to pay back but you do have to pay interest throughout the game so what have we got this is where the prices are going to be manipulated we've got the purchase table at the top here the silver purchase table we've got the sales tables here one two and three and we work our way down we've got the wall street journal so this top token will tell us some key information information which i'll go through you got some black suitcases which affect the silver market and various things negatively and they'll be going into this bag as well we've got a host of money on the side now each player will have one of these screens i've kind of got one face up for the video here but each player would have one of these and keep their shares hidden you got the reference sheet on here so literally four actions folks and you're going to be doing one on your turn you got buying shares or selling shares or buying silver or passing which is a legitimate action sometimes additionally on your go uh, besides doing one of those you could take a subsidy up to the limit which i'll go through or you could use a special action once per game now i'm not going to use these special actions in this game it says on your first sort of play just ignore them but they do add a bit more balance and you get say an extra buy an extra sell or pass so do use those have a look at those when you play and each player will get one of them so so, just me as usual, two player kicking off and we've got all the shares at seven here i guess a little bit of setup then each in a two-player game anyway each player would have chosen a stock from the market to put in the purchase uh, the purchase area there which is wide as two there you will have added or what was it so it would have been two stocks and then 10 plus the number of players to the market there's a little bit of setup in figuring out how many briefcases there and how many, well, look like little briefcases, but they're stocks in the various industries. And then you've got so many in here. So the first thing, who's going to go first? And let's say these players are, this player is up. So let's go through buying a share then. We're saying that we've got no money. So we're going to take a subsidy. Now, how many subsidies can we take? So looking at this start token here, this is the level so there's a starting level you can take up to two subsidies so you could take two of these now these are just denominations so if you ever take you know two twos and a one it's the same value as a five so you can trade it in for a five just to keep on top of what your interest is so we're going to do that we're going to take a subsidy of two because the limit is two so that is it now these players cannot take any more subsidies until the next level has been hit and you can see as one one share the, the, the highest value share if it's ever higher than one of these levels we change the level and we also bring some of these briefcases uh, the black ones into the bag so we took a subsidy that is an additional action and that's going to give us 40 bucks because you start the game with no money so you are going to pretty much have to take a subsidy unless you sell your shares so we've got 40 so we're going to buy something then so the, the way this game's going to flow is that these, I'll call them uh, stocks, they, you know, these little suitcases, these are going to kind of flow onto these two purchase tables. The market ones are going to flow from here. They're then going to flow and trigger a price adjustment, which I'll go through in a minute. And those stocks are going to come in the bag. And you kind of want the various stocks of your choice to go in the bag. You won't ever see what's in here because the probabilities will increase of what comes out of the bag. So if you've got loads of yellows here, they're then going to come in the bag and there's a better chance of yellows coming out of the bag. And that's important because that's going to increase the prices positively 
based on this little sort of guide here which we'll hopefully get a chance to go through so we're going to buy a share then we've, we've got two greens obviously this player wouldn't know two greens two oranges and a yellow are we going to diversify i probably don't think so i'm going to go with a green because i'm already invested in them and i want to try and get those stocks up here in the price address in the um the price tab there so we're going to buy one green so what do you do during buying you take a share boom keep it hidden down here you pay the price which is seven so we're going to need a bit of change there and you then during the buying you take another share of that color so we bought green and we can add it to the purchase tab here now we can only buy at the moment one share because on the starting tab here uh, in level well level zero you've got a uh, purchase of one and you can only sell up to one as you progress you can see level one when we hit here is still one in one uh, it can go up to two three and you can see throughout the game goes up to five there so yeah, at the moment we are limited on what we can buy and sell so we've bought that and we've popped that on there and we are done you don't actually impact the that the prices at all it only impacts if you sell something okay so they are done they've bought something and they've done a subsidy these guys are up and they're going to do a sell and let's demonstrate a sell they don't want to take a subsidy just yet because they don't want to start paying that interest so we are going to sell obviously this would be secret and it's all valued at seven so we're going to sell a blue so we take this uh, blue token we put it back in the market we then get seven bucks two four six seven I probably wouldn't sell it this quick. I'd usually go for a subsidy, but let's demonstrate sell. So we put it back. We then take from this top sales tab the blue, because that's what it was. It was a blue. And we put it up here on the the, the, the purchase tab there. So we've, we've sold something. Now, when you get on later on in the game, let's just say you could buy and sell up to four things. You, you can do a mixture. You could, you know, buy a yellow and a green. But it doesn't matter the quantity. During the, the buy action, you only ever put in, you know, let's say I take a green and a yellow. I only have to pick one suitcase or one token to go on the purchase tab. And it could be my choice, yellow or green. So maybe I go, right, the one green's going to go on here. It wouldn't be one for each. Equally, if there were none of that colour left in yellow, you'd have to then take the green. If there were no yellows and greens left, you have to pick another suitcase. So you have to put uh, one of these little suitcases when you buy, or when you do anything, when you buy, you sell, or even if you do a pass, you have to move a suitcase from somewhere, usually the market or here, to there, because that's going to trigger these price adjustments. So we have sold, we've took the, we've sold our blue, we've put the, the blue from this first sales category up here and we could do a subsidy as well which are probably not we've got some money that is them guys done over to these guys so we are going oh i should add when you sell something the stock goes to the left boom do not forget that only when you sell it when you buy it doesn't go anywhere else just yet anyway so these guys are thinking okay if i buy now silver is really cheap at 20 and you need to buy silver because that's how you're going to win the game because you're going to turn five of those into a gold and the most gold is going to be the winner and you can see it's valued at 20 but are you going to spend that money now and then you kind of you can't sell the silver you've purchased and you're limited to subsidies so if you really have no money or liquid you know you're not very liquid as your investor you're going to not be able to profit from the stock market and you want to invest in these to hopefully they go up to then make the profits to invest in here but if you don't do it soon enough and the silver price goes up you can see you know buying at 20 is very different to paying at, at 50 there so a lot of things to think about okay so let's demonstrate these guys are up oh let's go and buy something okay we're gonna buy another green so we take a green we pay seven and we take another green from here and that goes on the price tab there now we have triggered a price adjustment we could do well we haven't got the opportunity to do more subsidies because we've got our two limit so we've hit this price adjustment and how that occurs is when any of these two rows here so the price one and the silver one hit five suitcases 
or if there's ever on this particular the first sales tab if there's ever five left that would trigger a price adjustment so what happens then we've triggered it we look at the the, the pacific card here and it tells us we're going to draw out five from the bag so we're going to take five here there we go now this is going to determine and dictate the prices so we we start from the yellows we've got one yellow so we look here this is the starting spot if you can see that in the camera the one is just above it so we're going to be going up one so the yellow mark and it goes from seven to twelve we then go for the blues there's one blue and that's up one we've got reds next so there's one red so that's going to go up one we've got no greens so a zero goes to the left one so the price goes down from seven to six so all of the color stocks will participate which is why you want the probabilities of getting them in the bag by having activity i love how that sort of represents the markets the more activity of the, the buy and the selling brings those into play which then brings them into here which brings them out and changes the prices so very clever so over to orange and we've got two this time so the two is one up and one to the right so from seven to 14 a big increase now these populate the market again so there's this cycle of coming from the bag to the market getting them back having purchased them or you know doing those uh, buying silver and what have you so there you go there and then the five that triggered the price adjustment go into the bag now the difference is these they go back in if one of these sales areas had hit so if there's five remaining this would go back in the bag as well and that doesn't count as part of the five so five remaining and then you chuck those in and these black ones impact the that some negative aspects as well which i might not get a chance to go through but i'll, I'll definitely demonstrate it okay so we've done a price adjustment now equally during a price adjustment if people had purchased silver and it was at to say here you round it down so you can see the free it's in free so you can see six nine twelve fifteen you're going to increase the price of silver by one so that would go up but in this case no one bought any uh, but let's say it was on seven you'd increase silver by two you'd reset this back to zero and then you'd, you'd you finish your price adjustment another way that this can go up is by drawing those black suitcases so if you were to draw you know free let's just say oh i did forget actually there's a there's one important thing you need to think about is there's this token that is in the bag to remind you for that very reason i didn't feel it so before you do the actual price adjustment you men to pay your interest for your subsidy so these guys have got to pay two uh, why is it two because the subsidy at the top says the interest there is is two these guys haven't taken a subsidy so that's uh, something you'd have to think about as well so going back to these black suitcases and so let's just say i'm just going to pinch a couple of these for now this was the draw you got one black suitcase you do the price adjustments on those the one just impacts so every black suitcase makes the silver market go up so one goes up one one means you put it back in the bag if you ever reveal two then this goes up two on the silver market but the prices are going to be negatively impacted. So if this was the case, we start off with yellow. There's one yellow minus the two black, which takes it to negative one. You can see our starting position. Negative one is one spot lower. The blues should be in the same case. The reds have zero there. So zero minus the two is minus two. So they're going to come down one and left one, which you can see is reducing the price. So these two impact the prices massively. But with one suitcase, it goes back in the bag with black. But two, they go to the side of the game and they are out. So that's a little bit about how those black suitcases work. Now, they will be brought into the game. Uh, with those from the bag they'll be brought into the game by these sales tabs having hit the trigger of five for the price adjustment or when you hit new levels so if you hit level one this one's coming out into the bag level two so there's nine black suitcases there representing the nine levels if you do ever get to the top so we've done our subsidy we've increased our silver we've updated the markets and we've put those back in the bag which should come out in the future hopefully and increase our probabilities so I cannot remember who triggered that now. So I'm just going to get. Oh, I think these guys bought a green, didn't they? So these guys then. Now, actually, something important. I didn't spot the various colours in there. Now, if there was ever 
free of one colour in either of these, so either in the purchase tab or the silver, your share is going to go to the right one. Great, because uh, you know you've influenced the, the price that much that you know demand is high for it, so the price is going to be immediately compared to waiting for the bag. If you ever take what the last share, you know the last share from here. Uh, and it's, it's empty the market is empty you're going to increase it to the right as well now there's a, you you, you really want to get a reference sheet folks because there's a lot of very, um, sort of adjustments to the prices and stuff and it, it takes a little few goes of the game to, to to get comfortable with it so that's how you can increase the price if the market empties but if the market is empty after a price adjustment that's when you've withdrawn from the bag and there's still none then the price goes up one okay so there's a few ways for the prices to change it so these guys are up then so we've bought shares we've sold shares let's try buying silver so we're going to take a subsidy we, we've still got a, a potential of two to take so we'll take this one to represent that we'll take 40 from the bank so this was our additional action so our actual action is to buy silver now they're still valued at 20 we paid 20 to the bank and we can only buy up to one silver so we can buy and sell one good uh, and, uh, max and we can buy up to one silver so we've purchased one of these we keep that hidden usually with our screen there and we increase this to one to show the market some silvers being bought and you still have to place a suitcase out but this time on the silver market so you take any color you want so i'm looking at mine thinking right i probably want to boost up the price of yellows orange is doing okay red's okay i'm going to take a yellow and i'm going to put it on there and that was there go down over to these guys and so greens have disappointingly gone down to six oranges how much money have they got they got a bit of money maybe they're going to sell you know they can only sell one orange because of the the limitations so they're going to do that they put that back in the market they take the 14 and you take from the sales tab here because we've sold something we put the orange up there and we drop the price to the left over to these guys they've got no subsidies or special actions let's just demonstrate pass then so pass can come in real handy because you might not want to impact the, a price adjustment or what have you but you or, or the various um you know buying something or selling something but it still brings a suitcase out uh, so we are passing and we are going to put or oh, we're going to go for a yellow but when you pass it goes on the silver track most importantly so maybe if a couple of people are pass and three yellows come out then yellow is actually going to be bumped to the right because the the three yellows as i said earlier has happened so they've passed and these guys are up oh what can we do we are going to pass as well we're we going to buy we're going to buy another green we're going in on greens folks so we bought a green we paid six and where are we let's get four change and we take another green from the market and we put that in the top tab for buying these guys are up they are going to buy let's go green as well eh whilst there's a few left in the market so they they buy this green for a value of six a typical Friedman Freeze game. It's kind of that power grid esque number crunching. You're trying to figure out that most efficient way of buying and selling and, and getting that silver at the right time. So if you like that sort of game, this is this is for you folks. So what have we done? We bought a share, so we pop a green there and they are done. So there's no more greens to buy. We are gonna buy a blue at ten. So turn in, take a blue, pop a blue on there. That's that done. These guys, how much money have we got? We're not going to buy silver just yet. We are going to... We're going to need to raise some money really, aren't we? Let's sell. We're going to sell an orange. So we pop the orange up here. Actually, no, we pop it back in the market. This orange goes up there. We move that to the left because we've sold something and we're going to get 12 bucks for that one. We have triggered a price adjustment. There's five out there, folks. So we are going to draw five from the bag because that's what the starting tile tells us to do. But before that, we pay our interest. So these guys are paying two. 
these guys are paying two and we take out these five so there's no blacks near to begin with two three four five so yellows we've got two out so that's one up and one to the right boom they've gone from 12 to 22 incredible blues are up we've got uh, one up and one to the right reds are just the one up and oh we've got no greens on there so greens are oh did i increase the price for greens actually i don't think i did because the last greens were bought they should have gone to the right one uh but in this case now they've got zero so they're going back to the left okay that's the greens we've got oranges did i do red yes i did red didn't i uh, oranges are zero as well so they're going this way okay a lot to keep track of on my own here right there we are reds blues that one these all come back in the bag so you can see we populated the bag with a few more greens a few more oranges put that one back in there we've not hit the uh the free limit on the silver so we just put that back to zero and the price does not go up on the silver okie doke now looking at the board itself if if i remind myself if it ever goes to 28 you need to go right you're actually going up one wicked if you're ever on this side of the board and you have to go left then you're going down one so uh bear that in mind there and you can never go lower than four i don't believe you can't go higher than two three eight as well good luck if you get it up there okay so let's play let's try and do a bit of selling and i'll kind of demonstrate what happens when this happens so oh who triggered it i can't remember who triggered it now it says when you trigger it you take them out of the bag to kind of remind you was it these guys uh, i don't know let's just go Let's go to these guys. They look like they've got less shares. Uh, we are going to sell something. Now, we're going to sell only the one yellow. We'd love to sell two because when we sell, it's going to go down to 19. And if we sell again, it's going to 16. But, uh, or, oh, I've got a better idea. We are going to pass. We're not going to spend our money on a, a, a silver, but we're going to pass on yellow. So even passing, we still have to take one of our choice and put on the silver. We've now hit three of the same color, which means we can bump this to the right. So that I've done that because now if I sell on my next turn, I'm going to get more money. But these guys might think, okay, I'm actually going to sell this yellow, which they're going to they're gonna do. So they're going to sell this yellow. They put that back in the market. We take a yellow from here and put that up there, which would have done that anyway. It would have sold that yellow. It would have gone up uh because there'd have been three there so they've sold it 25 move it to the left we're gonna get 22 bucks and that was there go these guys are like ah oh, did all i wasted that pass we're gonna sell it anyway so we're gonna put that yellow back in the market we're gonna move this yellow up to here and da -da 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 -da. oh are we gonna do that Maybe we want to keep these yellows because there's there's a lot of yellows that are going to go in the bag and cycle through. We're going to keep that yellow, folks. We're not going to take the 22. I don't even think I took it anyway, did I? Uh, all right, either way, I'm not sure if I took it or not, but we're not going to do that move. Although something we do is going to trigger this soon, actually. Um, let's put that yellow back there. I can't even recall what shares they had now. Did they have three of them? Did they have two yellows? Oh, I've messed up somewhere. I can't remember if I've took the money or not. Oh, no, it was on there, wasn't it? <coughs> oh, I can't remember. Okay, so we're not going to do sell. We're going to do buy while things are cheap. We're going to buy another green. So in doing so... Oh, there is no greens. We can't buy green. Maybe we're going to buy orange. Let's buy an orange. So we take an orange there. We pay eight. And we take another orange and put it up here, which is going to trigger a price adjustment okay so we are going to pay our interest first to each we are going to draw a still only five out the bag no silver was purchased over the free so that's not going up and i've kind of drawn one too many so we have got folks we'll do this one more time we've got yellows which are zero so they're going left one oh good time to have sold out well not for these guys i kind of backtracked on that one blues they're going to the left as well for zero we've got reds which are going up one we've got greens which are going up one and we've got three oranges wow so three is two up so we've gone from eight to 20 
We bought in well with that. Did I buy an orange or a blue? I can't remember now. Okay, so these are going back in the market to replenish. There is now a green there, which is interesting because you know, someone takes that, it then means the market's empty, it goes to the right one, and they can then, because there's no other greens because they bought it, they can pick another colour to influence things. So a lot of mind games in this one. Okay, these are going back in the bag. And I'm going to call it there, folks. You literally carry on. Now, what would happen if one of these, say like that yellow had gone up here to the, the say, the, um, the purchase tab, you've triggered a price adjustment because there's five remaining. So you do the same again. You draw five out the bag. You change the prices. You influence the silver. But this time, when you put them back in, you take all these remainder ones here and you put the black uh, briefcase in the bag so you've now got a black one in there so it's kind of with none in the bag to begin with it's given you a head start to get the prices going and formatically speaking you know the ones that you've sold haven't had the chance to come into the bag uh, but also all, although they have come up here and influenced uh, influenced influence that one so what else have we got then as you go oh we forgot we did hit a level one here so after this price adjustment, or the last one, you would have moved the level up to this one. So we can now have subsidies up to three, which means we could take an additional one and our, ta our total is free. We can still only buy and sell one. We can still only buy a maximum of one silver, but now we take six from the bag. And for having got to that level, we would have put the, the first level black suitcase in the bag as well. So uh, be mindful to remember the level changes. What else have we got? So that's, this is really, we've kind of demonstrated this well, this, this price fluctuation. You will have to trade in your silver five quantity when you get to this, this gold. Next, once this one's empty, you start working on this sales tab. So these will come up here. And once that has triggered a price adjustment, there's five there. You take the remaining five and the two this time, and they would go in. And then you'd start working on this bottom one. And once five there, and they trigger a price adjustment, three come in. Now, once you run out of all these price adjustments, you then just restock the middle one. And you put two of these black suitcases here, which is why when you reveal two from the bag, the two get left on the side because you kind of need some to replenish it. And then you keep working off level two. So once that creates another price adjustment, you just stock it up again. Now, as these prices go up, you're going to be selling them, making mega dollar. You're going to be having these level changes, which give you more capabilities. So you can see, you know, when you get to say level eight, you can have up to uh, eight in subsidies, five purchase and five sell power, five on the silver and up to 11 coming out of the bag keep going now what time are you going to buy these silver you're going to buy loads early on and not have the liquidity to buy shares you're going to be buying up here and you're like oh my god i can't remember who purchased what and how many silver they've got and how many gold they've got once it gets to 100 you triggered the game and you get to sell your shares in hand for the current price you get to go up to the maximum subsidy limits so let's say it was on eight and you've only got three amazingly you can take the other five take the hundred bucks all the money you've acquired from either in your hand, from the sale of shares, from the remaining subsidies, you turn into silver. Obviously, it's going to cost you 100 a pop. You turn the silver into gold. Whoever has the most gold is the winner of Black Friday. Fantastic game, this one, folks. One of the better stock market games out there. Give it a go if you come across the copy. Enjoy.